right let's look at question number 17 part b so this is the sine rule cosine rule question so four distinct points a b c d are on a plane are such that b a d and a b c are theta, theta. so this angle and this angle are theta 3 a d is equal to 4 b c b a c the small angle is alpha a b d that small angle is beta using the sign rule we have to show this so we have to use these two triangles right so let me use two colors for these two triangles right so we have to come up with the relationship for bc over ad right bc is in abc triangle so abc triangle has angle alpha and angle theta and this angle is what pi minus theta plus alpha look at the question we need a theta plus alpha angle so that comes from here and look at theta plus beta so that will come from the other triangle right so then let's draw the other triangle with a different color a b d right and both have both triangles have a common side a b that we have to use right so for the right red red color triangle a b d triangle you have theta here and beta here so then this angle would be what pi minus those two angles together right so we need a theta plus beta angle also right so what do you need to do apply sign rule to this triangle separately and use this common side to connect them so what is the common side for both triangles a b so let's first apply sine rule to a b c triangle right so let's apply sine rule to a b c triangle so then i get sine pi minus theta plus alpha over a b this one equal to now i have to connect b c to that b c and a d ratio is what we are looking for so then sine alpha over b c sine alpha over b c sine alpha over b c so then this we you know using trigonometric identities is going to be sine theta plus alpha no? sine pi minus theta is sine theta using that so this is sine theta plus alpha over a b sine alpha over b c so let's take this as equation one then let's apply to a b d triangle sine rule what do you get sine pi minus theta plus beta over a b sine pi minus theta plus beta over a b equal to we have to connect now a d so sine beta over a d sine beta over a d again using the same thing pi minus sine pi minus some angle is just sine that angle so sine theta plus beta over a b is equal to sine beta over a d so we have two equations now we have to get which ratio b c to a d b c to a d 
so I can do what? 2 divided by 1 then the a b's will cancel out and I get the ratio so do second one over 1 so then what happens a b's cancel out on this side and you get the correct ratio b c over a d do second one over first one second one divided by the first equation so you will get sine so let's write that sine second one is what sine theta plus beta over a b divided by sine theta plus alpha over a b equal to sine beta over a d divided by sine alpha over b c right now we can cancel and simplify a b is cancel out you get what sine theta plus beta over sine theta plus alpha and here you get sine beta times bc sine alpha times ad right so then we want bc over ad ratio so move sine alpha and sine beta to this side multiply by sine alpha you get sine alpha here divide by sine beta you get sine beta here so then you get bc over ad is what sine theta plus beta sine alpha over sine theta plus alpha sine beta right so that is what we want right we have that sine beta sine theta plus alpha right correct so that part is done then deduce cot theta equals 3 cot alpha minus 4 cot beta so now you have to use this 3 ad equals 4 bc 3 ad equals 4 bc means bc over ad is 3 over 4 so let's substitute that here and simplify until we get the correct expression so we have sine alpha sine theta plus beta over sine beta sine theta plus alpha equals to 3 over 4 right cross multiply sine alpha sine theta plus beta times 4 3 times this sine theta plus alpha right so i need to create cot theta cot alpha and cot beta terms so let me expand them for sine alpha sine theta cos beta cos theta sine beta 3 sine beta sine theta cos alpha cos theta sin alpha right again expand sin alpha cos beta sin theta 4 sin alpha sin beta cos theta plus 3 cos alpha sin beta sin theta 3 sin alpha sin beta cos theta so i want to create what cot t cot term so i have to divide everything by sin alpha sin beta and sin theta so now divide each term by sin alpha sin beta and sin theta sin alpha sin beta sin theta 
sin alpha sin beta sin theta sin t right alpha beta theta all non zero so sin alpha sin beta sin theta are non zero so you can divide without any issue this sin alpha sin beta sin theta is non zero so no problem with that so now simplify sin alpha sin alpha cancel sin theta sin theta cancel this one this one cancel this one this one cancels sin beta sin beta sin theta sin theta sin alpha sin theta. right so what is left then from the first you are left with 4 cos beta over sin beta so 4 cot beta second term 4 cot theta on this side 3 cot alpha and 3 cot theta so then cot theta is what 3 cot alpha minus 4 cot beta that is what we needed cot theta equals 3 cot alpha minus 4 cot beta right so that is 17 part b then we'll do 17 part c